That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in life? I didn't pause. And that shouldn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like, like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw him in his court. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, I'm sure if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb, a dumb word for, for a wonderful, wonderful photographic, photographic tradition. tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's, long as it's been around. Now, Max... Since, Since you've captured, captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? 
Let me think. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the art world. It's great exposure, and you can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still, still waiting for your entry to it. Yes, Max. I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody in class is turning in a photo. So I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never, never let, let one, one of photography's, photography's future stars, stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're, you're a better photographer, photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag, drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. Catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you, you do have a gift. gift. You, you have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always look the real world. The real world. Then I might send you a special I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, bro, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Come on, 
Don't, don't stress. stress. You, you, you're okay, bro. Just, just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the, you're the boss. boss. So, so what do you want? want? I hope you check, check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, now let's, let's talk, talk business. business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got, got hella cash. That's, That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich, rich kid. kid. I know you've been, been pumping drugs, drugs and shit to kids around here. I, I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Ever tell me what to do? I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. No. Can you give me an example of a You do not believe this. The human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Where are us? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I did it. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured the time machine black and white. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Where are us? Because of our image together, together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for you. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. You don't, you don't have, have beauty without, without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century boat. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's realist photographs. Like, like Cocteau, Cocteau, he was, was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word. I believe Max has taken, taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. Your so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? The has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. 
but, but you're, you're not, not going to get away that easy. We, we can, can talk, talk more after, after class. class. Is, Is there, there anybody who knows this? Jefferson wants, wants to keep me under class. class. And I need time to save that girl. Across, Across the skin portraits, a sharp reflective style like a mirror. mirror. Now you're totally stuck in my retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if her winding you in and give him the right answer? Tailing people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. You've captured, captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation. conversation. Can you please tell, tell us the name of the process, process that gave birth to the first self fortress? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clearly defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading these assigned chapters. Max is so far away ahead of heaven. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be fed by the art world. It's great exposure and can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Melissa get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your intro. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. These future stars, stars avoid, avoid handing, handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Who the, the fuck, fuck I am, or who you're messing around with? What are you doing? 
Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I'll start attacking again. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me. I want to break it open. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. I wonder how we'll get around this. No! No, 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 no! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hell of more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, I need a hammer to break it open! No! No, 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 no! Sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no! I need a hammer to break it open. Get in hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um... Female tricks. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team too to get. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't, I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now, now get, get outside the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Max, you better go on outside now. 